Hi all, today's topic is D. Albert's ratio test. So what do you mean by D. Albert's ratio test? The series sum of un of a positive term is a convergent if the condition satisfied is a limit n tending to infinity un plus 1 divided by un. When it is less than 1, it is a convergent. When it is greater than 1, it is a divergent. When it is equal to 1, the ratio test fails. You have to go with the next test. So for that, the first problem, discuss the convergent of the series. The series has been given in the question 1 plus 2 square divided by 2 factorial plus etc. So we need to write general case. So now I will write un first. So un, un, how I can write? It's 1 squared, this is squared. So 1 squared, 2 squared, 3 squared, 4 squared. So numerator n squared. So n square divided by denominator. Denominator 1 factorial, 2 factorial, 3 factorial, 4 factorial. So n factorial. So completed. It's easy way of writing un. Next you have to write un plus 1th term. So un plus 1th term means n, instead of n, n plus 1. So n plus 1 the whole square divided by n plus 1 factorial. So u n and u n plus 1 we have found. We have to find it u n plus 1 divided by u n. Then only limit you have to take. We have to check whether it is less greater or equal to. So that only I am going to do. First u n plus 1 divided by u n. I am going to divide it. This equation divided by this when I divide it. So it is nothing but n plus 1 the whole square divided by n plus 1 factorial divided by u n. So, I will write opposite. So, n factorial divided by n square. So, after that, I am going to take in the numerator common term outside. So, in this, uh, if I take a common term outside, means what I can take a common term outside. n square, I can take it a common term outside. n square, when I take it, 1 plus 1 by n the whole square, n factorial divided by same way in the denominator already one n square. So in this n plus 1 factorial I will take n factorial commonly out. n factorial how can I take commonly out means it is nothing but already you know this formula. Its uh, formula is you have studied this formula in beta gamma function. So in your uh, fourth unit. So, n plus 1 factorial is nothing but n factorial into n plus 1. So, any data given without factorial into next n factorial, we can write it. This is the formula for beta gamma function. In the video, in the previous video, fourth unit video, you can refer it. So, uh, how can I write? It's n factorial, n plus 1 factorial, I can write n factorial into n plus 1. So, in the n plus 1 also, again n I will take it outside. So, when I take it outside, again I will write one more step I will write. So, n square numerator 1 plus 1 by n the whole square n factorial. So, in this n taken outside, so n cube n factorial 1 plus 1 by n. So, completed, written. After that, take a limit. So, now only you have to take a limit. Limit n tending to infinity u n plus 1 divided by u n. Okay. So, n tending to infinity. So, now cancel it means 1 by n n factorial n factorial get cancelled n squared and n get cancelled 1 by n so 1 plus 1 by n the whole square divided by 1 plus 1 by n okay so everything cancelled so 1 by infinity is nothing but 0 so the 1 by infinity is 0 here 1 so 0 so overall i'll be getting 0 only because 1 by infinity is 0. So it's 0. I am getting 0. 0 whether it's less than 1 or it's greater than 1. It's not equal to 1 we are not getting. Only it may be 2 cases. 
it may be less than 1 or it is uh, greater than 1. 0 is nothing but it is less than 1. So, it is less than 1 means by ratio test, you have to write which test because there are so many tests. So, we are, which test you have applied? I know this is the formula for ratio test, but it should be mentioned in the uh, answer. Okay. So, it is by ratio test. So, the sum of U V N is convergent. Because it is less than 1 means it is a convergent. So, this is the way we have to do the problem. So, the second question. Is our second question means the second question is test for the convergent of this series. So one series has been given. So we need to write first U n. So U n we have to write it one by U n when I write it. Now you check numerator first. You will check it one one one. So one. 1, 1 1.2 so 1.2.3 dot etc dot it goes so numerator is nothing but so when i write it a general case so when it is like this means a continuous number or same means how we have to write it means 1 plus 2 plus 3 etc n okay numerator the whole square the so whole square so whole square later i will write denominator same way 3, 3 plus 5 and then 3 plus 5 plus 7 etc it goes on first that uh, we will find what is the value 3 plus 7 plus etc so what is the general case uh, I have to write what it is a plus n minus 1 into d difference d is 2 so a is your first term so 3 so 3 plus n minus 1 into d is 2 so 2 n minus 2 plus 3 so 2 n plus 1 so the general case is 2 n plus 1 so i have to write 3 plus 5 plus 7 etc 2 n plus 1 okay everything the whole square the formula the whole square when it is for like this continuous number only you have to write it like this so u n completed now u n plus 1 I need to write the same format I am going to extend it 1 plus 2 plus etc. So till n plus 1 divided by denominator 3 plus 5 plus 7 etc. 2 n plus 1 it is there in the next term will be 2 n plus 3 term. 2 n plus 1 will be there additionally 2 n plus next term will be 3. So the whole square. So completed. So now next step u n plus 1 divided by u n I have to divide it. Then after that only I am going to take a limit. So when I divide it 1 plus 2 plus 3 etc. n plus 1 divided by 3 plus 5 etc. 2 n plus 1 into 2 n plus 3. The whole square. Okay. Now, this by u n, this term denominator will come to numerator, numerator they will come to denominator, the whole square I can write it. So, that uh, when I write it, so it is nothing but 3 plus 5 plus 7, etc. 2 n plus 1 divided by 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus etc. n the whole per square, okay. Now you check. So what is the, I will use some other color so you will not get any confusion. Light color on the screen. Use. Okay, now you check this term till before n plus 1 it is there. Before term will be till n. Correct? Till this term get cancelled. Okay, same in the numerator. This term get cancelled, this fully get cancelled. So remaining only this will be a balance n plus 1 will be a balance, 2n plus 3 will be a balance, okay, remaining every term get cancelled, but the whole square, so un will be n plus 1 the whole square divided by 
2n plus 3 the whole square. So only that term will be there. Okay. So now I need to take a limit. Before taking a limit, I will take a commonly out the numerator. Uh, what is the term commonly out that I am going to take it out? So n I will take it n square I will take it uh, commonly out n square I will take it commonly out it's nothing but 1 by n the whole square divided by same way in the denominator n square I will take it out 2 plus uh, 3 by n the whole square so both it is divided then only limit I am going to apply it limit n tending to infinity okay now u n plus 1 divided by u n so same thing when I apply it in this so n tending to infinity so nothing but 1 plus 1 by n the whole square divided by 2 plus 3 by n the whole square okay so when i divide it you check here only one here two square so one when i take a limit 1 by infinity 1 by infinity 1 by infinity is nothing but zero okay so zero here only one square divided by 2 square so it's nothing but 1 by 4 1 by 4 whether it's less than 1 or it greater than 1 it's a less than 1 it's less than 1 means what it is it is a by ratio test it is a conversion so that you have to compulsively write the conclusion by ratio test sum of un is convergent